वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग दिस वीडियो इन द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक व्हिच वी वर डिस्कसिंग कॉल्ड माइटोसिस द प्रीवियस टू फेजेस वर कॉल्ड द प्रोफेज एंड द मेटाफेज नाउ वी आर मूविंग ऑन द थर्ड फेज which is called anaphase uh in anaphase what we were discussing in the metaphase so if you can recall in the metaphase that we aligned all these chromosomes at the equator of this spindle fibers now uh, and uh, also in the metaphase we said a there is a division of the centromere into two centromere to separate the two uh, sister chromatids from one another so now what will happen in the anaphase there will be the pulling of two chromatids what will happen in the anaphase there will be the pulling of the two chromatids in the two opposite poles in two opposite poles how this will happen so if we recall the metaphase uh, sorry if we recall in the prophase we said k there will be a process called the formation of spindle fibers and you know very well k these spindle fibers are made up of microtubules which have the ability to extend in forward direction and to go back in the backward direction so first of all what happened they came in this manner and uh, in the metaphase we arranged chromosomes over here now what will happen they will go back to their opposite poles so uh, as we divided the two sister chromatids in the metaphase right here as we uh, first of all aligned the two uh, first of all we aligned the chromosomes at the metaphase plate then we separated the two uh, sister chromatids from one another uh, by means of separation means ke they have just uh, splitted uh, by means of separated it doesn't mean ke they have pulled to the opposite pole this will happen in the third phase what we are calling as anaphase that if the two sister chromatids this is called from one pole and this was called from another pole now what will happen uh this will go in this manner and this sister chromatid will go in this manner means if before uh, of this anaphase we had a picture like this before anaphase we have picture like this now uh, they will go in their respective direction and by the end of anaphase we will have the picture like now what is happening here 
the one chromosome as you can see uh, this is called the one chromosome made up of two sister chromatids now these both sister chromatids they have pulled in to their respective opposite poles and this is only happening in the phase third which you people are calling anaphase uh, i am recalling this again ke in the anaphase the contraction of sp the spindle fibers takes place at this stage as a result of which the two sets of chromatids migrate towards the opposite poles of the spindle uh this most probably happens uh, at the discontinuous fiber so as you can see in the book as well it is very clearly written that in the anaphase there will only uh, i mean there will be only one thing happening and that is called the pulling of the two sister chromatids from one another let's recall again this is this is one chromosome and uh, by the end of metaphase they split it like this now what will happen in the anaphase they will separate from one another and who will make them separate and who will pull uh, them from this place at this place this will be the microtubule which were arising from the centrioles so this is the only thing which will happen in the anaphase now let's talk about the final phase of the mitotic division which is called the telophase as we have already moved uh, our two sister chromatids in this phase so in this telophase there will be a reappearing of nuclear membrane and there will be reappearing of nucleolus as we discussed ke in the prophase the nucleolus and nuclear membrane they will disappear on the temporary basis but they will reappear again in the final phase of the mitosis division and that is called telophase uh in this telophase uh <coughs> there will be the reappearing of nuclear membrane and the nucleolus so if we look uh, from the beginning of the cell we had this condition this is nuclear membrane chromatin network and this by the end of these four phases we will have this condition in which we will have the two distinct nuclei possessing the chromatin network because uh once we condense the chromatin network into chromosome and when we separate the two sister chromatids in the phase which were we people were calling as anaphase the chromatids will again uh, be formed in the form of the chromatin so this thing is happening in the telophase i mean there is there is only one thing uh, to do in the telophase and that is called the reappearing of nuclear membrane and the nucleolus so if you look in the book as well you can clearly see okay we have the prophase this is again called prophase this is prophase uh this is called the metaphase the aligning of the chromosomes at the equator this picture relates the 
third phase which is which is called the anaphase i mean you can see clearly the two sister chromatids are separating from one another one will go in this direction and one will go in this direction so uh, this is called the last stage uh, which is called the nuclear formation i mean the nuclear membrane and all these things so this is called uh, what your uh, a new calyx i mean this is whole a uh, this is whole uh, this is whole the picture of this phenomenon what we people were calling the prophase the metaphase anaphase and finally the telophase